retirement can herald a fresh approach to life, finally having the time you need to do the things you've been wanting to do for years. Holidays are always near the top of the list for relaxation, seeing new sights, and spending quality time with your family. Comfort and familiarity are also important elements, and travel can be made much easier and simpler by utilising timeshare properties. For designated weeks in the year, you own a property, a home from home, space that's yours, in a part of the world you love. We visited the Travel and Leisure Group to find out more. I think there is a major trend in the timeshare industry, is that it started by being a luxury product many years ago, probably in its infancy in 1973 or 74. I remember how wonderful and sophisticated the places were, and then they became more affordable to all and more basic. Nowadays, if I would say the difference is that our clients particularly, what they want is luxury, and the most, of, most expensive properties is the ones that sell better. No, nobody's looking for the cheap deal, the, which was the case some years ago. They want specific places and they are very detailed in what they, they want. Because our buyers are different when, from when you go and buy at the resort, at the timeshare resort. They know what they want. They generally already own or somebody they know all about it, somebody in the family owns it, so they come to us with specific specifics that you can't imagine, including where the trees look from the window at Cameron House in Scotland and things like this. The benefit of a timeshare is that people can actually know the quality of the accommodation that they're getting, and if they buy a timeshare that they regularly go to, they will get to know people and other people who can at the same time and they'll make new friends and it gives them an opportunity to explore different parts of the world and get to know different areas. We're a broker um, for the reselling obviously of timeshares so we've been, we're in our 21st year now <laughs> so we've been around a long time. It was myself and my partner John Hepperwhite who is now passed away so I remain now in charge as the managing director. We are a, a brokerage. We have got a team of multilingual people that uh, make timeshare quite easy to sell or to buy. We, we find that buyers all over the world and about whether you're buying or selling timeshare, we manage to find the right people. Um, we, can we have agents who look for properties abroad as well and help us to find the right property for the right person and also if they want to sell we'll put their property in front of as many potential buyers as possible around the world. When you're buying a property through Travel and Leisure um, we offer approximately 50% reduction on the, on the developer's costs. Um, we have a, a large database full of properties uh, where it can be tailor-made to people's requests. And there are timeshares all over the world. Um, there's a, and people know a lot of the fact there's a lot of timeshare in Spain and, and southern Spain and the Canaries because that's where a lot has been built. But there are timeshare operations that you can exchange into all over the world, even places like Hungary and Poland. It's surprising where they're popping up from since the um, changes in Russia the, and Russia and the Russian Empire has happened. Uh, and of course you've got plenty of wonderful places in America with Disneyland and South Africa, Australia, I mean every country in the world has a timeshare involvement of some sort and at some level, so you can get yourself nearly anywhere. We're primarily a resale brokerage, a resale company um, and what we, what we offer here is um, buyers, uh, sorry, sellers, people that want to sell their timeshare, they, they've bought them for whatever reason, want to sell them on. We will advertise the timeshare to prospective buyers um, and we don't just advertise them once a, a buyer is found and we're matching a seller and a buyer together. Um, we then see the whole thing through to the end. We've got our own legal department that deals with the brokerage side of things and we just make it very, very smooth. All monies is held in escrow so there's no risk with any monies as such. Um, so that, that, that's, that's what we do from beginning to end, really. You see the whole, whole process through to the end. I decided I'd want to purchase a property, you know, 
uh, somewhere where it was warm and to get away from sad memories, I suppose. But anyway, I found this place in Golden Bay in Malta for 3,000 pounds and it's just a home from home. It's just wonderful. You know, after having traveled the world, I just want somewhere closer to England and Malta is little England in the Mediterranean. So I just love it. If somebody wanted to buy, they might come on. And firstly, obviously, key question, how much is it going to cost me? And then we move on to things like how many people will it accommodate? Because a family of four, for example, isn't going to want a studio apartment, only sleeps two. Likewise, if you've only got two of you, you wouldn't want a two bedroom that's going to sleep six people because it just wouldn't be cost effective. Um, they also want to know what maintenance fees are involved because obviously every year most resorts do have a maintenance fee that's payable and you know they can range. I mean a maintenance fee might be as low as £100 right up to £1,500 depending on what they're purchasing. I think I, you know, I got tired of going to hotels wherever I went. Uh, you know you're sort of anonymous and no one knows you but at the Radisson Resort, um, I'm beginning to know other people who, who live there. So, well, you know, who take holidays there. And I've taken friends there, so I'm very happy with it. Someone that wants to sell, one of the first things they want to know is how much are they going to get for it, what's it worth? Um, and of course, it depends. It depends on what season they've got, what size it is, and, and if it's a popular resort that's come on. So we have to take some details and firstly make sure that it is one, you know, that is in a decent time period or, or good size accommodation. So they could range, all the prices just range. We are very much an advertising company with a, a, a sales department as well on the side of the buyers and we do our in-house conveyancing as well, which we think is important. A conveyancing of timeshare perhaps it sounds a bit silly, but it is an there are an enormous amount of work involved in timeshares and different legislations all over the world. The French have a uh, session de par, which is like shares, that's the way they sh sell timeshare. Uh, in Portugal are escrituras, which are all like you're buying property. You do not really buy in a club or anything. And then you have American with warranty deeds. So all of that is taken care of in-house. And it, it is a large part of our business. We offer conveyancings legal transfers, as they call, to people who actually do not buy or sell through us. They come into us just to ensure that their money is safe in solicitors' hands and that we know what we're doing. People that phone up to buy, they not, nine times out of ten know timeshare and they know exactly what they want. They know where they want to go. They even know the price they want to pay for it. So it's our job to then negotiate with one of our sellers to get that for them. In fact, we learn so much from buyers ourselves, we're learning on a day-to-day -day basis, but um, there's no set questions with buyers. With sellers, obviously, they call up and it is always a change in circumstances uh, or lifestyle or cost is a factor. They simply could just can't afford the timeshares anymore. Um, and they want to sell it on and um, we literally just have to guide them on the process. They just, they just call up. I mean, it, we advise them not to obviously um, go with somebody else, like a, 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 when I say somebody else, someone's not governed by TATOC or RDO. They must follow um, a, the governing bodies, companies that have, are, are governed by those two companies. When the contracts have been agreed and signed by the buyer and seller, we would now initiate the full legal procedures and, and uh, contact the result and carry out all the necessary paperwork required to complete the transfer of ownership. We are in constant contact with the buyer and seller to ensure that they are up to date with every aspect of the transfer. Once the sale has been agreed, uh, we have to carry out legal search, search checks on the property, ensure that the property is free to be sold and available to use for the next year. On completion of the, um, the searches, we then will issue contracts to the buyer and seller for them to, uh, to, them to, re to review. They have a corn off period as, uh, as under the UK and EU directive and the code of practice for the RDO and TATOC, the Timeshare Association, which we are members of. Once the completion 
has taken place. The buyer is then the legally the owner of that timeshare week. They are then required to purchase their flights and enjoy their holiday. You can buy your own timeshare to suit with the facilities that you're looking for. Many are associated with golf courses and are very close to golf courses. Some are involved and actually own a golf course as well as part of the complex. Um, and in an area, for example, like the Dominican Republic where I've been, which is, there are something like about 25 golf courses built very much for the American market, but there's nothing to stop us going as Europeans going over there and enjoying those facilities. But golf is only one of the many activities that can be associated with a timeshare resort. Uh, obviously a lot of timeshares are on the sea, on the beach, and the sun is a very important part of why people buy a timeshare. It gives them the opportunity to enjoy the better climate than we have in the UK. Join us after the break for more on timeshare holidays. Thinking of buying, selling or renting a timeshare resale? Talk to Travel and Leisure Group International Timeshare Resale Specialists. Over 21 years we've helped buyers and sellers of timeshare, saving buyers thousands of pounds and giving sellers peace of mind with money safe in solicitors' hands. I was ever so happy with the service. So if selling or buying a pre-owned timeshare, visit travelandleisure.co.uk for a free valuation. If you need to make or review your will, contact the Will Writing Company, part of the Estate Planning Group and one of the UK's largest estate planning experts. For complete peace of mind, our viewers are being offered a free, no obligation consultation at home with a money-back satisfaction guarantee. The first 1,000 viewers to register will also qualify for a 15% discount. It's an offer that is too good to miss. See website for details. Are you concerned about memory loss? Many people are. It's understandable. Scientists now link memory loss associated with Alzheimer's and dementia to a rise in the level of the amino acid homocysteine in our blood. Homocysteine can be reduced by the ingredients in Betronac, a simple one-a-day supplement containing the highest doses of B vitamins, folic acid and the powerful antioxidant NAC. Memory loss? Try Betronac, a research-based solution. The Society of Genealogists can help you with your research. The largest family history library and archive in the UK contains some remarkable collections. Why not become a member to gain remote access to the Society's growing online database of records? The Society also runs an extensive education programme of family history courses and publications which may be relevant to your ancestry. Contact us now. The holidays are over. Time to get healthy. But I don't have time. Curves provides 30-minute workouts. And didn't you say you were going to change your eating habits? <laughs> yes, but I don't know how to. Curves has customizable meal plans. Come on, let's do it. But I'll never follow through. I'll be your personal coach. Designed specifically for women, Curves is as easy as one, two, three. 30-minute workouts, customizable meal plans and personal coaching. Visit your local Curves now for a chance to win a trip to the Caribbean. Thinking of buying, selling or renting a timeshare resale? Talk to Travel and Leisure Group International Timeshare Resale Specialists. Over 21 years we've helped buyers and sellers of timeshare, saving buyers thousands of pounds and giving sellers peace of mind with money safe in solicitors' hands. I was ever so happy with the service. So if selling or buying a pre-owned timeshare, visit travelandleisure.co.uk for a free valuation. Timeshare started properly in 1966, with French homes being sold on a weekly slot basis. It started mainly because a recession made luxury homes difficult to own outright. Now it's one of the fastest growing sectors in the holiday industry and has been transformed by the introduction of major holiday chains. Sarah Bond explains how the renting process works. The renting process works by um, people searching for accommodation. They obviously, um, will, I want to go to Gran Canaria and they will type it into a search engine and, and obviously our information comes up or they've rented before. And um, what they will do is that they will, they will contact us. We will find obviously their specific occupancy dates and things like that. 
The rental process is a good idea because um, I, I think uh, it's well, it is an alternative to traditional travel accommodation, but not just that. It's it's very very cost effective because you're paying per apartment, not per person. So it works. If you're a big family, for example, you get a two bedroom um, villa, um, a timeshare villa, and you're paying maybe around um, up to five six hundred pounds for that. And if you split that between the six six people, it's very very um, cost effective in that way because with traditional travel agencies you pay per person. So it can be good in that way. Also, um, a lot of people that we rent to tend to go on to buy. So they go out, they see the resort, they like what they see. Um, like the idea of maybe coming back there every year at a specific time, and they do go on to buy. The beauty of timeshare also is that while you may own a particular week at a particular resort in some part of the world, for example in Tenerife or in the Canaries, you don't have to go there every year. You can use the exchange system, which is a very useful system where you work with one of the big exchange companies who operate a bit like a bank. And if you don't want to go to your week in a year, you give it to them and put it in their bank and somebody else can take that out. But of course you, having put one in, you can take somebody else's week out. So you can go to a different part of the world and explore and enjoy and see what you can find out about that. The flexibility with points is much better, point systems or floating weeks because you get timeshares where you have um, specific week numbers every year, 52 weeks of the year and you might own week 31, you have to go week 31. But if you um, own a floating week, you can go any time of the year. So you can book it and you can, and a lot of people don't always go back to their resorts anymore. They are using the exchange systems to to you know, go anywhere they like and travel the world, really. I've had two or three friends stay there. They, they absolutely love it, you know? They're private and there's dining facilities around. The beaches, it's on the beach. It's just wonderful. Um, I mean, after all, all you have to say is, I have this apartment in Malta. In fact, why don't you come along? They very rarely say no. I would say it's more towards the um, retirement age, um, a bit before, maybe early 50s going onwards, but yeah, it is um, with buying and buying timeshare, definitely. My thoughts are maybe they've tasted the, the type of holidays they want over the years and they've come to know what they like and know where they like to go and just like to feel home from home so they can go there every year um, at the same place, they know exactly where they are, they meet people, you know, that they're going to meet there every year, so it's, it's probably um, familiarity, security, maybe, yeah. If you don't have a holiday booked, you may sit back and think to yourself, oh, perhaps we won't go away this year, maybe we'll go away next year, and I think when that tends to happen, all of a sudden you lose track of your holidays. You're, you're sitting at home, you're not getting out so much, so you're not experiencing what is out there, whereas I think if you own timeshare, you're paying a maintenance, you're not going to pay a maintenance and not use it, so it makes people use it, so it makes people go places and it opens their eyes up to obviously what's out there for them to use. I think that people have got the time and if they have, they may not have had the chance in the past to go on holidays and if they are retired, I think it's nice to know that they go to the same place if they want. They can exchange, but if they go to the same place, they know where to go and they don't have to worry about the accommodation. They know it like home from home and that, that is what our older people coming here by. We also have younger ones, but the, the retired people are a great part of our business. There's a lot of people involved in, in trying to advise people when they're about to retire um, and giving them advice and guidance to make sure that they don't end up cogitating and doing nothing. Um, and there are lots of people out there who can help uh, and provide that sort of advice. And I think in the modern world, most people are reaching the 60 to 65 age group when retirement comes along are treating it as a release and an opportunity to get out and do the things that they're never able to do. Obviously health is a very important part and health is something you should make sure you try and maintain as best you can um, because that gives you the opportunity to do the things that you perhaps weren't able to do and you didn't have time to do in the past. And uh, so I think looking after yourself is important 
but also not making sure you take advice and look at the different options and the different things that are available to you. Quite often when you've got retired people they've got more time on their hands so they've got a little bit more money in the bank where they've done some savings so they can afford something a little bit more luxurious. Um, they also like the fact that when they go to the same destination they can make friends so they're people that they can get together with on an annual basis and meet up with them every year. They say that when you retire you don't live very long after it you know but I was determined to enjoy my life and do the things I've always wanted to do, read a lot, go with friends, you know, um, I think that's very important. When we started, uh, we were not here in Sudbury, we were in a small village across, and a gentleman came, uh, he called himself Major something, you know, and he was very important, very specific, he asked for many details. In fact, he visited our office about 10 times before he bought his timeshare in Portugal at a, a place called Four Seasons Fairways. It's a beautiful place, wonderful villas there, and he bought a villa one week. He came back the following year and bought another week next door to it, so he then got two weeks. And he came back the following five years, so he ended up having, I think it was seven weeks in Portugal and he retired there now. So that is the, the worst probably and the best customer we ever had. I think there's a stigma attached to Timeshare where people think that when they buy somewhere that that's it, that's where they own and they can't go elsewhere. And of course, as I was saying, it does really help for retired people because they've made friends and they want to go back to the same resorts. But also I think um, they need to understand and need to learn about the fact that they can go where they want. They can go anywhere in the world. There's companies, exchange companies like RCI, Dial and Exchange and Interval International where they can actually deposit their weeks and go somewhere else for a change. So they may decide that this year that they own in the UK but this year they want to go to Spain or next year they want to go to Mexico. The, real, the world is their oyster, so they really can experience the flexibility of what timeshare holds for them. There's a couple of, I suppose, heartwarming stories, I suppose. Um, we've got uh, one couple who used to own in Gambia, um, Kaloli Beach Club in Gambia, and they absolutely loved their timeshare. would go there. They had two, I think, two weeks every year they would go there for. Um, his, the wife became very, very ill, actually, and um, he just... She couldn't travel anymore. He didn't really um, want to travel without her. But he, went, he always went back to his timeshare. The reason being is, he actually told us recently, it's because he had friends there and it was familiar to him and things like that. So that, that's maybe one. The other one, um, there is a, there, there's also a couple here that really didn't like timeshare, uh, really loathed the timeshare concept. But they did end up going away on a presentation weekend. They bought a week in, in England. Um, and they, didn't, they weren't too happy with the flexibility side of it. They had to go every, every year to the same place. They started to use the exchange systems, which is RCI, Interval International, or, or Dine Exchange, They're where you can exchange timeshare for another. You, you basically swap it for somewhere else, exchange it. Um, but then they discovered the point system, which is Diamond Resorts, um, Diamond Resorts International, and that gives you a lot of flexibility. You can go um, weekends away, uh, cruises, your normal weeks. So, and they actually really, really enjoyed that. When, once they got into the point system, really enjoyed that. And they're, they're now in their late 80s, and we've just, um, they're, obviously they've come to an age where they don't want to travel very much anymore. And we've just recently arranged to sell that on for them. So. Yeah, it's, it's stories like that really that um, and they, they actually were speaking to them recently they feel the timeshare has more than paid for itself. The whole thing about timeshare is that of course the maintenance that you pay isn't per person so when you book a holiday you're paying uh, for each week for each person whereas with timeshare you're paying a set figure so if you have got a few of you going or if you can get together in groups retirement couples go away together you share the costs between you it's actually a lot cheaper and the quality is much more high as well. The timeshare is very much your own personal preference. You can see that you can see wonderful scenery in the UK, you can travel as far as the Caribbean, you can travel to, to the Mediterranean. It's completely up to you what you prefer, what you like, depending on your personal preference. It's a home from home. Um, one can do one's own catering, go out to dinner if one likes. It's just 
marvelous. I'm, I'm afraid that's all I can say about it. I enjoy it very much. Most people take time to adjust to retirement. A job provides lifestyle, purpose and friendships. Suddenly having so much free time can feel like a shock to the system. Planning a holiday offers you a change of scenery and a chance to build friendships and enjoy a different lifestyle in a whole new environment.